Welcome to this MAMP Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about configuring your Apache server, your MySQL server, and then your PHP. I'm going to be using Mac OS 10 Yosemite and MAMP 3.073. Okay, the first thing I want to say is you cannot directly change your httpd.conf to uh, make configurations to your Apache server your, and your PHP INI files and your MyCNF file. Uh, for your um, MySQL and your PHP configurations. You cannot change them directly. Every time you start the Apache server, sorry, the servers, um, and uh, start up your Apache server and your MySQL server, those files get overwritten. Okay, so let's start with Apache server. Um, you can make changes to your, you can customize your Apache server directly through the interface here in the hosts extended section. These are the changes to the main, main changes you would make. So you can probably get away with just making changes to the interface. Um, you can make uh, custom changes to certain directives here in the directory directive or the virtual host directive. You can just type in stuff as you would in the httpd.conf. Um, these changes, uh, you can make additional changes and directly type into the Apache uh, httpd.conf template file, and you can make changes here. Um, be careful not that you, um, you know, make conflicting changes where you would make a change here and you um, change it again, uh, the, the exact same change you overwrite it here in the template file. It will take the, the flow of um, operations, I guess, is from the uh, the template file is going to get built from the interface, and the interface and the, uh, the template file itself is going to build the httpd.conf file. So um, you can make changes in here if you want. We do have a blog entry on um, making changes to the template file. If you want to see that, just check our blog. Um, and these changes are going to get reflected in the real httpd.conf file, which is located here in users or username library, library is a hidden file, application support absolute mant pro httpd.conf. This file is going to get overwritten every time you start your servers. So you cannot make changes to the real httpd.conf file directly. Okay, so PHP, uh, configuring PHP works a lot like Apache server. Uh, the only difference is there aren't a lot of changes you can make uh, between uh, or uh, configuring your PHP through the interface. So you can do an activate X debug here, some log file options and caching options, but everything else you have to do inside of the template file. So it works the same way, edit template, PHP. Uh, in this case, there's a difference um, Obviously, you have uh, several different versions of PHP, so you have to make sure you're changing the right version of PHP. But uh, the uh, uh, concept is the same. You make the changes here in your PHP file, and a PHP uh, um, a template file, and um, those changes are going to get reflected in the real um, uh, php.ini file and that is in the php.ini file in this case is in a different directory it is in macintosh hard drive library application support absolute map pro conf um, so you'll see here the um, php um, uh, let me just uh, go back to my uh, servers and start them again you can see that it's 10, it's 1101, and that is the file that got written. <clears throat> so this is the real deal here. And uh, if you are um, curious or maybe something, oops, did I rename that? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, if you renamed, uh, sorry, if you made some changes in your PHP template file and you're seeing that they're not, or they're not showing up and you're suspecting something's wrong, you can always check the real one to make sure that the template file accurately reflected what you thought you were changing. Okay, so 
Um, going back to the um, interface here, you'll notice we do have identical PHP, host um, module PHP, and CGI PHP. And you probably noticed there were a few different uh, php.ini files here. And that is because if you go to individual uh, CGI PHP, I'm going to save that and restart my servers. And one thing I do want to point out is I have in here in my uh, PHP version here, I've got a 5.6.2 and a 5.5.18. And that's exactly what's going to show up here. So these files got created at 11.02, uh, and they are going to represent the configurations for your um, CGI PHPs uh, on the hosts, uh, uh, <clears throat> on my hosts here. So the main point is make your changes through, just as in uh, Apache server, make your changes through the uh, PHP INI template files here and make sure you're making um, changes to the correct one in the case of PHP. MySQL again, similar to PHP, um, through the interface, not a lot of changes, but uh, when uh, we want to make uh, additional changes, you need to go back up to your template uh, menu and edit the MyCNF template file. So you can make the changes in here, and uh, those changes are going to get reflected, or the, uh, or the with these changes in this file, you are gonna create a real MyCNF.file, and if you wanna double check and see if your changes uh, are uh, uh, being changed as you thought they are or were, um, you can check and look in your MyCNF file and that uh, as you can see I just uh, was created a minute ago when I started and stopped my servers and that's located in your applications map temp MySQL directory so same uh, concept as uh, the other two Apache server and uh, your PHP configurations this file is going to get overwritten every time so you have to make changes through the template file one last thing to add about these template files, they are stored here in your use, username library application support absolute net pro templates directory. Um, if you don't see any here, it's because you haven't made any changes to the uh, different configurations. But if you do make changes, they will appear, uh, will be stored in your template file in this directory. And one last thing, if you went to your um, uh, menu here and you said file factory settings back to development or live what that's going to do is um, delete your template files and reset your settings um, back to um, their original settings so these are gone now and also sometimes one last thing if you uh, sometimes they're asked when you were uh, reinstalling uh, MAMP or installing a new version. It might ask you, do you want to save your templates to the desktop or something like that? Some, a lot of people are confused. They don't know what that means. So you're simply just saving your template files so you could uh, uh, to your desktop so you could reinsert new ones um, back here if you wanted to save some old configurations. So that's going to do it for this screencast on the HTTP uh, d.conf file and other configuration files.